Sydney. He's like, ooh, brother, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him. You haven't seen that guy. He's, nah. Um, brother, ooh. <laughs> he's literally my favorite. I, I, I legitimately just been watching his stuff all week. I've just been listening to his, and it actually just kind of got me into Islam, just out of pure fascination. There's a lot of stuff um, when they talk about, just in general, I think most churches do it, but people who are like evil sources and will like bring you down and want to take you away from your faith. Yeah. Um, and just really basics. It's just like listening to a, a preacher, like certain people are just kind of bad for you and um, only bring negative energy. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, suck your energy yeah, just out really, of you and give you your their negative energy. Yeah. It's a very spiritual warfare. It was it was really so boring at the same time. I feel like that's where people lose it with God and stuff, where it's like where you use these big words. Yeah. Where it's like, but this is like simple. It's real simple stuff. This is really right simple now. going yeah. to get a coffee. Yeah, literally. This isn't some crazy yeah. thing that's happening. This is everyday it's that simple thing. It's that thing. friend that you shouldn't be hanging around. Yeah. It's that friend that kind of like when you literally hang has with him. demonic forces attached yeah, to him yeah. that he can't defeat and is attaching yeah. to you. Yeah. When you go get a coffee and complains about every single thing that goes wrong. Yeah. It's literally, yeah, it's the dude that's just like, yeah, he just gives off bad. Air. Oh, who's in Sydney is um, Ben Dean as well. And um, Do you know, oh, watch Marky Mark. Watch this guy. I don't know this guy. And Marky Mark. Marky Mark? Really? Happy Sunday, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's at the churches there doing Really? <laughs> so good. Hopefully there's no Vietnamese people Another around. happy Sunday, everyone. Really? <laughs> He's probably working. He's probably going to World Gym. He bought F45. Oh, I think he... Has he had a... He's had, had, had that for a while? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Oh, Remember yeah. it went bankrupt like two years ago? Who? F45 went bankrupt and he was really? swept in and bought it. Oh, gosh. Maybe I got those two um, confused. Well, Jim. <laughs> I love the music. Floor. Eat with your fingers. Grow a beard. Live simple lives. Ugh. Brother, ugh. <laughs> What's that? What's that, brother? I've been listening to his stuff just all week. Oh, you keep on using the microphone. Oh, we're I on. I think we'll just go stream mode. We'll go stream mode. Yeah, we'll literally go stream mode. I'm trying to figure out a way to get into like more stream-based stuff. We should just stream. Yeah. Do it multiple times a week. Yeah, literally. Just come in and just start going. I think the first part we can keep very stream-based. Yeah. And then the second, or whenever we feel like getting it into, gets into something. Good topic. But I like the idea of maybe just having to start that like just something yeah very basic but i've been watching like literally all this stuff really he's and it's got the music playing underneath trying to Bravo. Ooh. <laughs> he's literally my favorite favorite person on the internet right now wow dude what about those that guy i sent you in melbourne that uh, sudanese oh my gosh incredible. Some That's, of the funniest pranks I've ever yeah, seen in my life. It was what he reminded me of was like early Stephen Joe. I can't remember that. Remember Stephen Joe? Bring and him Stephen. up. Remind me of just like early pranks, just like great pranks. Um, you would remember Stephen. That you're like, I could never do that. <laughs> yeah. You would. Oh, God. It's going to be so hard to find an early, early Stephen Joe video. Oldest. This guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm trying to see. Oh, you have the funniest stuff with his dad. Yeah, yeah. I know who it is. Yeah. Man, I never watched. Society. That's yeah. what he did. Yeah. <laughs> Could have made this kind of content now. <laughs> Couldn't do this today, bro. Couldn't do this today. <laughs> He's speed. He's yeah, literally speed. Yeah, that's that's all he is. He was an early speed. Early speed. <laughs> but there's something like quiet. He 
had the best. It's so just doing stuff that you're like, you can't oh do that though. God, yeah, and then like, doing it. Yeah, yeah. But, but you can't actually like you can't you touch someone and be doing that. That's, that's like kind illegal. of illegal. That's fully yeah, illegal. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing is do? with that Sudanese guy in Melbourne, I think A lot of fake. A lot of fake. Yeah. Just like Eric Andre. Yeah. Where it's like it, the real stuff is great, yeah. but as soon as it becomes fake, it's... Then you question it all. Yeah, then yeah. you literally start questioning it all. I know Eric Andre, I remember when I first started Because he's gone up to friends. everyone. Yeah. Is it all fake? I feel like a lot of the girl ones are fake. <laughs> yeah, the girl ones. You can tell just they're laughing. They And they wouldn't do that. It's yeah, just yeah, so literally. obvious. That I know. That they're going along with it. And you can tell because people are only so good at yeah. acting. People are only so good. But I swear the one with the Seki where they take the food looks real. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know what they you They look mean. really good. That was... it Again, literally, watching his videos, maybe 50% of them seem real. Yeah. 50% is like, literally, the girl is smiling before yeah. he approaches. Yeah, and yeah. she's like, trying not to look. Because, uh, yeah, people aren't good actors. Yeah. It's... Yeah, you can only be so good. But that's... The best thing in the world is uh, real pranks. Yeah. The best thing in the world. To the point where it's, it makes too much sense to fake them. Yeah. Like, the milk stuff, the milk wine... Tour, tour is like the early ones. Yeah, they're gonna have like a list of just the best pranks, or maybe the prank world is gonna kind of be recognized in a like 10, 20 years, mm. or maybe even just 10 years. Pranks are just gonna be a real, um, they're gonna be appreciated in a whole new way. I wonder, I wonder if they're gonna get crazier. Oh, who who, uh, who used to have great pranks and now is a Christian as Jamie Zoo. Did, <laughs> Did you see, see the that? pranks? Did you see the... Yeah, yeah. Did I see what? Um, his recent video on Instagram. He wears his chain, his cross. He wears and then his... the other guy had the same cross. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one where I was like, this is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to see if I find his new video. It seems silly because it's like, oh, what am I just mocking Christianity now? You but, are? Uh, no, no, I'm not mocking. It feels like I am because I'm just like watching this and laughing. He's one of those crazy guys on the street now. <laughs> Full cycle. <laughs> and it's like, fair enough, just join Catholicism. Yeah. And just be like, I'll go to church. I like Catholics in a suit. Yeah. I don't like the cross thing because it gets paganistic. Oh, okay. Where it, it goes against Jesus. What do you mean? Thing. What do you mean Catholics in a in a suit? Huh? What do you mean Catholics in a suit? Where it's not meant to be this, like, you're not meant to walk around saying, I love Jesus on my back. Yeah. You're literally, you're not meant to meant be to a town hall suit. harassing people. Meant to look like some Nick Fuentes guy <laughs> in a suit. Boring, simple life. Yeah, yeah. Very boring and simple. If simple, <laughs> not standing at the street corner saying, you need to get saved by Jesus. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Brother, ooh. <laughs> Christian's that have been the brother. Ugh. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a huge meme going around of now. Of course, it happens. And I love it. It's good. It's Australian <laughs> representation. Yeah. A very specific sect of Australia. Brother, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny just like watching Americans share that stuff. <laughs> it's it's just so perfect. I really like yeah, it. I see the Spanian video where he goes to um, somewhere in Melbourne and at the train station, the kid like comes up and he's like, I got off drugs, Fanny, and all that. That is like, and I'm Christian because of you. And it does the <laughs> cry. <laughs> yeah. That's the cry. I love it, though. It's, it's beautiful. Good. I think so many people are. Uh, it's, it's the new movement. Yeah. Well, I'm, becoming, part, I'm part of that oh, movement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you now? Where are you at now in the, in the Christian train? I'm still the same. I'm getting just that. This screen's just going to be recording nonstop. <laughs> You're a Catholic. Yeah. Yep. You're not going to go into a corner and 
I'm not going to what? You're not going to be Jamie Zoo, who apparently is just on corners now. He's a corner guy. <laughs> corner guy. I saw them. I literally corner I go to, Christian. I go to yeah, corner Christian. Well, it is in the Bible that you're meant to do that. You're meant to go in the corner. Yeah. Har- harass people, leaving Woolworths. Yeah. So we're just trying to like listen to a podcast yeah. of Destiny try to defend um, <laughs> genocide. Non monogamy. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, <laughs> let's say they did um, drop a nuke on Gaza. <laughs> that wouldn't be genocide. <laughs> <laughs> did he say that? He said that. Let's get scared about to make it. <laughs> Let's say they said we're going to kill every single Palestinian How is that man, woman, child. How is that? Are you going to prove that in a court of law? Because I can show you that fiction that you can. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so funny. It's like, okay, well, there's a camp in Rafa now and they're exterminating them just in case any of the Palestinians are in Hamas. And it's like, well, that's not genocide. They're trying to defeat Hamas. <laughs> they're gassing them. Okay, it's effective. Um, cause they, has destiny ever been right about anything? Is that the truth? He like came up debating why being in an open relationship is good oh, and fine yeah, and yeah, it saved yeah. Adam 22's life because Adam 22 was going to kill himself <laughs> because he was realizing how bad it was, what he was doing. Was Adam 22, when did this all happen? Huh? When did Adam 22 say he was going to kill himself? Well, he said that Destiny saved my life when I started watching oh, his content. Oh, wow. Because Destiny would had great arguments to... You can sleep around with all kinds of people and it's normal and fine. And, like, logistically and uh, technically, if you look at the statistics, that it's actually fine and normal <laughs> and it's actually fine to have, like, multiple partners and all blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's so funny. And everyone knows but that. It's like, obviously, it's probably not. I mean, you don't even need the Bible to tell you that. Yeah, just look at any, look at anything. Just look at human nature, yeah. how jealous people are. Is this are. working? Look at just jealousy in human nature. Yeah, of course, against, it's it never going to work. It goes against, like, real deep human nature. Yeah, it looks like literally human nature. Yeah. It's like, well, you'd have to, you have pride. It's pretty, look at even just STDs. It's like, it's pretty obvious we we're not meant to just spread. Yeah. That's, that's or come from STDs somewhere. probably wouldn't exist. Of course. Of Even course. the minor ones that the government probably didn't invent. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, just yeah. like basic ones that are just hygiene. It's just a reminder. It's like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Brother, ooh. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> All goals in one weekend. Ooh. Because <laughs> that's the thing. Allah probably did that. Yeah. <laughs> I just do the rest of the podcast like this. Allah probably did that. <laughs> Allah created that. Who would you decide otherwise? <laughs> That's my favorite. And so he, he just talks about like questioning Allah and just. Like, I love it not to question. Yeah, just don't question. It's like, who are you? Are you better than Allah? I guess not. Some of the people out there think they're better than Allah. They think like, I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, I'm finding this hard. And it's like, oh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I need to find those proper bits. <laughs> Brother, who are you? <laughs> Brother, you work a worse in an office, brother. Allah's in heavens, brother. Creating. Working, bro. CEO of space. He's just, he's probably going to become the biggest thing on earth. He's going to convert so many people, this guy. Because he's just coming from a real, normal place. Honest. Aussie. Yeah, Aussie, Western suburb. Brother, ugh. Brother, you go to the clubs. Brother, ugh. It's so what rum. are you doing? It's a rum. Because Allah said so. <laughs> Why do we from cover up? Because Allah said so. <laughs> it's, I really like that. I, I think most religious people just kind of have to uh, follow blindly though. Yeah. It's kind of part of it. It's like, I don't, who are, it is that brother, who are you? Who am I to say what's going on and to say where I should go? Yeah. It's what Jamie Zoo's kind of <laughs> found. It's like, Jesus it's a, it's a really good, it's an answer to everything. Mm. It's like, well, Jesus said so. You need to find Jesus. You need to find Allah. That's the answer to every single problem. Maybe it's true. It might be, yeah, because how are you? How do you feel? Do you think there's, uh, like, Jesus or... Is it Jesus? Is Jesus your guy? Um. Well, I feel like when you, like, uh, psychologically, yeah, it gets to that level where it doesn't even matter... Whether it is Jesus or not, it right. is more the shared consciousness and who's in control in the shared consciousness Right, is more the premise. It's almost like the cave algorithm. I mean, not algorithm, the cave analogy. analogy. Yeah, yeah. Where it doesn't really matter. It's kind of just what you believe. Belief is truth, is like the scary thing. Right. To believe is to know. 
essentially. Mm. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm looking. I'm looking at the the cave analogy there. Okay, really just trying to stare at it. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's the truth. I'm looking at the how it's broken down. It's even um, simplified. What is this one? Essential Plato's knowledge. analogy of the cave. Okay, so we got Where the it truth. talks about truth and illusion. So what you think? Oh, okay, so everything's like an opinion. All the things you see. There's the NPCs. There's the there's <laughs> us. The Matrix. The opinion. There's Andrew Tate there. <laughs> the yeah. Dom is a philosopher. <laughs> It'd be so funny. They need to start doing those this just with cool. like the glasses and the black shirt. So you got the sun there. Oh, okay, so you can potentially worship the sun. And then, oh, you start worshipping the things you see. And that results in worshipping the sun. So this is basically... So this in this Plato analogy, it's making fun of, yeah, pagan religions. But is there something to the pagan religions? I was looking at a bunch of videos of like the South African witch doctors... Are they just making that stuff up when they're getting overcome by like a demon? And then as soon as you just start learning, you become like a philosopher. That's how Plato saw himself as well. He was that guy. He was that guy. Yeah, he, that's him. <laughs> I'm that guy. Yeah, I'm the. So it's me at the top. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy at I'm, the top. I'm the top G. I'm the top G. <laughs> peasants are below me. The peasants are below. Of course. You're out there worshipping the sun. I'm up there in the... I'm just really I'm there under the trees. Look I the know, fo- same. Yeah, I'm staring at it's it. It's never ending. That's the funniest part. So this is still the empirical wall. Yeah, so you could potentially... There's something up there. This is still empirical. You, gotta, you can't be touching sorry, the Sorry, sorry. He doesn't like the <laughs> yeah, touching. I don't like, I don't like the touching <laughs> of the screen. I, uh, <laughs> don't touch, don't me. touch the screen. Um, yeah, so I guess what happens? You're there in the darkness. You're seeing the things that you have like an opinion of. And then when you like start searching, when you start this quest for knowledge, because this you isn't find, what I meant, but I'm trying to like yeah, no, it. and that's the same. I to think it, I've that's seen, what I'm really like. I think I've seen different it. analogies of the cave. This one's just done very nice, um, and I'm trying to break it down and how this could kind of be a. I think it's more the um, like the astral plane, yeah, which is this theoretic idea of a collective consciousness yes and whatever the opinion of the majority of the collective consciousness agree on yeah is truth no oh, matter okay. like right, it's this right. kind of dissolving of what truth is so if everyone is believing something it's true it is true it is no more true than if it was true. Or, but that's scary because brainwashing. It's kind of like that guy. It's like when I'm right, I'm wrong. And when I'm wrong, I still could have been right. But I'm still <laughs> right because I could have been wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that from? Get Richard I Try. Oh, is it? Oh, Terrence Jay. Howard. Oh, he's have you seen? He's like a full scientist genius now. He's redefining maths. Yeah, it's, it's getting broken down so much. Yeah, yeah. It's getting torn to pieces. <laughs> he had like, what is it? Three times three isn't nine or something like that. It's it was one times one isn't one. It should be two. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, who are you, dude? Brother, who are you? <laughs> it's two because I was saying it's two. I think we need to start having that more, that mentality a little bit more. Um, who is he? He's an actor. He's an actor. What happens? Actors are seen as oh, your one times one equals two. Actors like get paid too much money. He doesn't get paid much money. Oh, he's on a lot of rounds. Talked about that. Yeah, Yeah. yeah. got like twelve k for huge movies. That's true. Crazy. (laughs) Because he couldn't do maths. You're like, yeah, so Terrence, we're making um (laughs) we're making five hundred million on this movie, so we're gonna you're gonna get one times one of that, if that makes sense. So you're, you're I'm left following. With, I'm following. Oh, I'm following. <laughs> I think the invoice is wrong that you sent us. You're a math guy. Check you? your books. Check, Check your, your books. history. <laughs> they underpaid me. He's we tried to pay like, you more, but dude, you're shit. getting twelve thousand. This movie just grow three hundred million. You're meant to get one hundred twenty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> twelve thousand. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's going on in here. That could be a really good comedy bit. <laughs> yeah, no, that actually would be nice. <laughs> All our math is wrong, and this guy, um, why it makes sense to Terrence Howard. I want to see like a short video 
Who's this guy with the long hair? Brother. <laughs> oh, that's Moy's critical. I hate Moy's. Yeah. There's a magnet there, yeah. Yeah, I'm discovering things <laughs> as we go. <laughs> So he's talking, he's, he's, I think this is what happens when you uh, do certain psychedelics. I think ayahuasca and stuff like that. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people come out of that trip and basically they, to they, redefine they become the main character yeah. and anything they look into. Get like God pilled. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they've discovered it. They're the one. Yeah. Which I guess maybe it comes from somewhere. I was looking into um, um, what is it? Who was it? Well, that Charles could be like all the prophets. I was looking into Charles Darwin. Had some experience, <sighs> yeah, and that is that was God, yeah, that came and enlightened them with all this knowledge. Yeah, and they they literally talk about that. Yeah, maybe they were just all on ayahuasca. Well, they took it uh, unknowingly. Right. It's like those frogs that you can just lick. Yeah. So they, they got exposed. I don't want to say thing. which prophet or something, <laughs> which part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what were you saying? Um, who was I looking into? I think I was looking into Charles Darwin. Yeah. And just how he... The devil. The devil. <laughs> also <laughs> the known guy, as the devil. The guy who's responsible for everything wrong in the world. Yeah. Um, Have I was, you seen those videos? I think About how so. toxic... Yeah, or his ideology or Darwinism yeah. was just for oh, evil bread, in the world. pure racism. Yeah. But I looked in, he's just a guy who just kind of put two and two together himself. He's just some guy that was like, oh, maybe this is the case. Maybe this is an answer. And he even said this could be wrong. Yeah, he just... I think just looking into these characters, they're not these... The devil is very deceptive, my brother. <laughs> they will come as saviors. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just some guy with... He's just He was just some guy with an idea. He was like at university for two years, joined like a cruise, started writing stuff down on a notepad. He was like, oh, I'm noticing this, I'm noticing that. Seems pretty cool, writing stuff down. Did like a little essay. He's just, a, they're just guys. He was a Freemason. Was he a Freemason? I think. Look really? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. I think because he looked like this. Yeah. That guy. But don't Marxists knows. love him? Most science people love him because he went against the Bible. Yeah, he went against the Bible, but then I guess it's the when in, he was studying the indigenous people. Yeah, and he's basically like these people are Primitive. lesser than. Yeah, <laughs> um, which is a pretty bold claim. He said where he said that Africa. <laughs> he said that like all um, tribal people will be wiped out by the white man, undoubtedly. Right. Yeah, obviously he said. Yeah, they yeah. will all be killed. As an interesting a natural progression. <laughs> And I feel like it just came from a place of ignorance. I yeah. think if he actually spent some proper time, or just second guessed himself, just looked in and looked into it a little bit longer, you could probably disprove Darwinism. Well, it's like the Akala. Right. To get real woke. No, okay, but yeah. It's the Akala analogy where it's like, is the rock or the water stronger? Okay. Which one wears away the Interesting. other? Interesting. Yeah. Water wears away the rock. So which is stronger? You think the rock's stronger because it's a solid, hard mass. Yeah, yeah, wow. But it can't even touch the water. It can't do anything to it. But the water will destroy it and decay it down to dust. And I guess if you look at time. Yeah, and it's all about yeah, that it's time all thing. About it's time. like which civilization yeah. is greater yeah. if one creates philosophy, mathematics, science, and then completely wipes itself out. Yeah. Or the one... Or not creates, found. Found, yeah, discovers yeah. all discovers. these things, but completely yep. destroys itself yes. every single time. Yep. Or the one that just stayed natural and said, we're not going to really bother with all that. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to live how God intended. Yeah. And just live a simple life and lives f for hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah. Out, with never changing. Nothing ever goes yep. wrong. Because they're just in the balance of the universe. And it's like... And it's like, who's smarter? Mm. 
I think you all these prophets. Yeah. If, or in all these religions, they really place an emphasis on uh, being simple. Simple, yeah. Simplicity. Simplicity is everything. Not kind of striving for more. There's no real no futurism. Yeah, like there's the no like you got to be movement. great. You got to build this thing. Machines you have to churches. always be learning. Yeah. No, it's just you want less. Yeah. Build skyscrapers, <laughs> brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cha ching, brother. <laughs> be simple. <laughs> Live in huts, <laughs> brother. <laughs> A little garden. A little garden. <laughs> Family, <laughs> kids in the back, running around, teaching, teaching stories, passing, passing down the no, stories. Ooh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. But yeah, just that timeline thing. I'm, I'm trying to just look into, I'm always trying to figure out more of just the timeline of the world. Get into Russian history. I'm, I'm into a lot of Russian history. You've gone deep? Not too deep. How go deep? deep. How deep can you go? Look into all the stands. Oh, okay, right. What That's all these need. places are yeah, that no yeah. one knows about. That's where it gets scary. What's what's going on with the stands? Huh? What's going on with the stands? I'm on, I'm on I'll a be search. that guy that like yeah. is like, I'm not the right guy. I could it. tell you. I'll I could tell, tell you, you, bro. I could you, tell you. But look into yourself. Look into it. Look Just into the guy the that knows <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it's like I know everything. <laughs> Oh, the Dude, stuff I could tell you. Dude, have you looked into the th- truth about Darwinism? Brother. Brother. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> nah, you're not ready, bro. You're not ready. Should I? Should I? Should Chat, I, should, I? should I? Should I tell him? Nah, nah, nah I won't. Nah, I won't. I'm not going to tell you today, brother. Not today. Not today, bro. Another time, another time. Look into yourself if you want to, bro. <laughs> come back to me. Bro, look in, come back to me and then we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> I looked, I couldn't find... You didn't look in the right place. <laughs> You're not trying to open. The guy, he just like starts relating all the information he found. He's like, I told you. <laughs> I told you, bro. <laughs> you should look into all the stands. It's scary. It gets really scary. Really? It's pretty, it goes into the whole old world thing. Okay. There was some weird civilization that they, it's just gone from the history book. In that, in that area. It wasn't that long ago. Do you know India? That we're talking like three, 400 years yeah, ago. Yeah, India was the most powerful place on earth. Yeah. I think 200 years ago. Before England went in. Yeah. yeah. To the most powerful place on earth. Just wiped it. And then suddenly it's gone from, it's, it's coming back. Yeah. But it was the most powerful place on earth. There's things that really, not as they seem, I think. Once you really, brother. Brother. Once it clicks. Yeah. No, but legitimately, I was <laughs> yeah. looking into it so deep. And once it, <laughs> once you really start like trying to be like, this could be fake. And then it really clicks. It gets scary. Oh, okay, you yeah. Get this real like we've the really been lied to. Yeah, like, people yeah. have really just falsified, changed, and just lied and just gotten rid of so much. Yes, yeah. That doesn't even exist. Like we can't, you can't find it anywhere. Yeah, of course. It's burnt to the ground, gone. Yeah, it's gone. People aren't even alive that know it. And you're not even going to talk about what. No, and there isn't yeah. some secret society who are hiding it. Yeah, they're yeah. all dead because they got rid of it and all died, and it's gone. And we probably will never find it. That's yeah, the scariest that's part. That's it is literally gone. Yeah. And it's not somewhere to be found. And no one's even going to talk about what could have been. People always talk about the Library of Alexandria. Yeah. That's not a good example of what's been lost from history. Yes. That was a tiny... And that's a known anything. thing that yeah. we kind of lost. Yeah. And they there was barely anything there. Yeah. But the amount of stuff that probably has just... And you, you would never know anyone associated with it. Any what stories it was called. about, yeah, literally. And it's just all these cities of the, uh, it's terrifying. This was happening in the stands, potentially, or? Yes, definitely. Uh, okay. Look at like Russia 1800, Russia 1700. Uh, okay. Just the buildings, it's like, are you sure this wasn't the superpower of the entire world? Like, what is this? Yeah. It's like Atlantis. Mm. And who built this? The people in the wagons that are riding around? Yeah. It gets scary. It's all like, who built this? Who built these mega cities? I guess you just had power. Like, you had power that was constantly changing. Yeah. I guess you what... I Russia's right on the border of Mongolia. Yeah. Was it the Khan dynasty or whatever that was involved in that area? And this Where do the, the thing. Russians come from? Where are these white Russians come from? I think they come Were from they Asia. Were they the first ones? And what did they take? And what did they build? Where did their contribution actually come in? And what did yep. they just say was theirs? 
what Cat Williams has a good thing. It's like we've refurbished the White House so many times. Yeah. So many different companies. Who can you say really built it? Right. It, it's not the same, but it's a yeah. good little sense of it. It's kind of like the pyramids. Yeah. It's like, who can we really say actually built it? Yeah. Initially. Who were the first people to it? Yeah. And and I who guess, just yeah, yeah. polished it up a bit? Yeah. And that's the scary thing about history. <laughs> as I'm looking into history, only getting into it this year, as I learn in t- uh, as I kind of learn more and more, yeah. I realize yeah, it's a classic idea, but I know nothing. Yeah. And so many things can kind of be changing and people don't really know. And people agree and with it. People say, yeah, heaps of history is probably a lie. Yeah. But don't actually think it. Yeah, yeah, of course. And but then like, say, well, no, nah, but this all kind of yeah, probably kind of happened. The Egyptians happened. built the pyramids at that and time. And the Greek this civilization the, created yes. um, democracy. Yeah, yeah. Did they? Yeah. Did they really? Or you did were just they just earlier that, say that? Yeah. And did they really build all this stuff? Yeah, look at the timeline. Look like at the, the trust that people give to history. Yeah. The trust. Because I trust the Greeks. They definitely built that. And yeah. Zeus and... This was all theirs. Yep, Rome, was. they built all that. That's all theirs. Yeah. That was everything. All the important stuff happened after Jesus. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of where we start things. And all the time, it's like, a high, yeah. Literally, like, it, people kind of switch off. They use that Jesus, that, that B, C, A, D date, so people switch off. Yeah. You don't want to go a deeper. Switch off. Literally, yeah. it's like okay. It's let's like, just I'm not look, gonna go to B, C. Yeah. Let's just look two thousand years. Yeah. Let's, that's what we'll give them. We'll How far back years. do we gotta yeah. go? We're not gonna go further than that, brother. <laughs> it's going in backwards. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> relax, <laughs> brother, relax. Are you a historian or something, brother? <laughs> Who are you? Do you think you're better than? <laughs> uh, you think you're better than Jesus? But it's even look up like the art gallery of New South Wales. Look up Washington DC. Look up um. What's another one? I think yeah. Look up you've the talked Pantheon. About it. Look yeah, up the Pantheon. Yeah. Um, Look up when they think the Pantheon was built. They have no idea. Like, okay, let's have a look. After Jesus, 126 years after Jesus. The Pantheon? Yeah. But just look up the building. Look up, bring up Art yeah, Gallery of New South Pantheon. Wales. Oh, I'm looking at the Pantheon. But look, bring up all three. Art Gallery of New South Wales, okay. Pantheon, and Washington, D.C. <laughs> what about Washington, D.C.? Why are they all the exact same cities? I wasn't taught that. Please, <laughs> architects, comment below. Yeah. Because I'm probably going to have to study architecture the at architect this point. The architect thing, I don't know if that debate has that much uh, weight to it. Like, I don't know if that's a good angle to take. Because I think it can literally get kind of destroyed from people who know anything about, yeah. Arch- I know, I know. Building. Yeah, of course. Um, But I feel that when it comes to the dates, when it comes to the timeline of things... The fact that people only really look 2,000 years. But not even that. History. Even the architecture. It's just what are they copying? What's the world dominating archaeological I don't know buildings? about this. I don't know about that angle. I'm not saying yeah. that they're all built at the same time. No, yet. not even at the same time. But like there are people who are building this thing and they kind of know what's going on. There's not like a higher sort of thing that a telling them what to do. I think they're probably just being like, oh, this is like a structure that we're using like a classic sort of Roman sort of structure. Uh, we're just going with this. I don't know if it goes deeper than that. And this is me being destiny. Brother. Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> are is, being full This is destiny. me. I'm tr- yeah, I have yeah. to destiny that because I just don't buy just it. Just look up all three. Just look yeah. at them though. I'm, I'm staring. I'm, don't I use see. the words. Use your eyes. I'm using my eyes. I'm staring at them. Because words will lie to you. Why I'm, do they call it spelling, brother? <laughs> they cast the spell. <laughs> I, I'm looking at it. It's the same sort of design. It's the exact same design. It's look. It looks like the Pantheon. But I don't know if there's a conspiracy there. It's just a great building. It's just like, I don't even know if it's an ar- architectural feat. I don't know if it's that impressive. Largest standing dome on the planet. Still to this day, 2,000-year-old building. The, the Pantheon. That is a feat. Mm, I don't know. I, th- I think there's probably been better. There ha- isn't, though. That's the largest to this day. Okay. Don't. Let's look into it. So this is the Pantheon. Um, I remember going there and thinking it was pretty unimpressive. It is. It's average. Yeah, because it looks like the art gallery. It's like the Maybe, same thing. Yeah, I was like, okay. I don't know what's so good about it. And again, this is my ignorance coming from, like, I don't know anything about architecture or construction or anything like that. 
I'm looking at modern Rotunda. Rakan- Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> Influence. Um, here we go. Um, as a best preserved example of an ancient Roman um, monumental building, the Pantheon has been enormously influential in Western architecture from at least the Renaissance on. Um, starting with Ronelski's. I don't even know how to say that name. Um, 42 metre dome um, of Santa Maria del Fuore in Florence. What else have they got? Oh, here we go. Um, oh, here we go. They're to- talking about all the other places that took influence from the structure of the Pantheon. Um, you've got the Santa Maria Asanta. What is that? Every that, major building in, in every Italy. city on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> University of Virginia. Um, what you know? Thomas Jefferson's Library at the University of Virginia. Um, Belle Isle House in England. They're all taking influence from it. Um, the Rotunda of uh, Moster in Malta. So you can see the same thing. Yeah, that's I like I think they're just influence. taking that sort of influence. The architect... Um, Nokia Church in Finland. It doesn't even look that good. I'm going to see what else they've got. List of Roman domes. List of largest domes. Here we go. <laughs> of the largest the domes. Largest freestanding dome. Um, held the record. Oh, freestanding. Okay, so there's yep. been a bunch. Um, 1,250 BC. The um, treasury of... Um, Atreus in Greece. Did Ryan Garcia do a blood ritual at the Vatican? <laughs> That's a real question. I'm looking at all these. So the Pantheon looks like it's the fifth, fifth biggest in history. And beat pretty big. Yeah, but there's just way there've been way more impressive things in Italy. The bars of Trajan was bigger. Um and that was from Second century AD, bars of Agrippa. Okay, Destiny, get off Google, bro. <laughs> get off Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the real world. Let's get Twitter. Back to the real Let's world. get back Let's to the real world. Get real Tom Lucre up. <laughs> <laughs> get Tom Lucre, Matt Wallace, <laughs> Jake Shields up. Let's look at some real evidence. Oh, yeah, my whole take on Jake Shields um, is I think people are going to turn on him. Or who's he working for? Yeah. Who, That's or, what I want to know. All these strange these characters. Because what I've noticed now, there is Palestinian Twitter. There yep. is Palestinian social media. And their whole goal is to just kind of uncover this stuff and it's yep. to be anti-Semitic in a way. They hate Jewish people. Yeah, it's getting scary. They hate them. They're just looking up Jewish conspiracy theories. Maybe it's an industry, like maybe it's just business. It's money. It's just money. Clicks. It's just yeah. clickbait. It's like if I keep on posting like this anti-Semitic sort of conspiracy people theory stuff, look at it. People click on it. Click into yeah. it. Yeah. And it's like, hey, sorry, I'm just coming from a. You just talk to Jake Shields. Like, dude, I don't even really care about that. Stuff. Trying to make money, man. Dude, I'm a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fighting anymore. I punch I'm people gonna... in a ring. I do. What do I know about like yeah. a potential genocide. I did a stream with Sneeko. Yeah. It was a good opportunity. You know, I spoke to my team. They said, I'm not even writing this stuff. <laughs> yeah. You can't write this. Dude, it's like some 21-year-olds. Yeah. Uh, we hire him. He does yeah. the research. He's, finds good topics. He's that dude. He's, he's Mikey in the back. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> Just like drinking a Starbucks. What, what up, bro? Up? What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you good? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know what's going on, man. I didn't follow I just fight right. in the ring. <laughs> I got CTE, man. I'm brain damaged. Look at my ears. <laughs> but yeah, I like, can't even spell. <laughs> I just collect my thirty k a month off Twitter revenue. They just use my face. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> people love it. It's so funny, and it's just it's all fake. Yeah, it's all fake. Um, who else I noticed was um who what? Schaefer Elijah Schaefer. Yeah, is another one of these guys, just like Jake Shields, where they'll just have some crazy post. Yeah, and people respond like, "What the hell?" That gets like. 10,000 clicks. It's and the whole they go community crazier. thing, they all repost this. Yeah. And it's just this. It's it's so uh, annoying when you think about it being fake. It's almost yeah. like the pranks. Yeah. 
And as soon as you start thinking, oh, maybe this is just fake to get clicks, you start feeling like a sucker. Yeah. You're like, a real oh sucker. my gosh. I, I retweet all that stuff because yeah. I find it entertaining. And it's all fake. Even like the the black person who's like, dude, this is so racist. This is the history of da 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 da. That was set up. So yeah. they respond like immediately after you post. It's just oh, like, it's like a, some perfect, a perfect sort of yeah. yeah. Literally, you just have a room where it's like, hey, we're coming from like black black Twitter or the like black side of things. We want to make some money. Who wants to make some money? Who wants to make some money? These guys are kind of the white racist. It's just like some African guy. <laughs> say, like, oh, what's up? I'm from Nigeria. I'm doing like the white guy stuff. Yeah. I'm just like some alt right troll. I'm like uh, 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 Texas Pepe. How they can't last that long. <laughs> I know. People are going to start uncovering it all. Once I even feel like Ryan Garcia is the end of it, because yeah. once you're making these outlandish claims. Yes. And maybe I'm wrong and people really are just lost and sad <laughs> and like it's not going to stop. But I feel like once he never comes out with anything. Yeah. And he just does yeah, his literally, fight, literally. gets his money and disappears. Yeah. It's just going to be like, oh. We really just get, we're getting played by these. Yeah, guys. we're literally getting played. This is that whole just Logan using Paul, us. Yeah. Um, or Jake Paul. Who was that? Logan Dylan Paul Danis. and Dylan Danis. Yeah, it is just this. Like, like, oh, we're literally just we're these pawns. Yeah, we're just baiting. In. This is entertainment. Yeah, we're making people rich. Yeah, we're making rich people rich more money. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah we're pretending to be uncovering something. Yeah, I've spent all day looking into these the girls. Dylan Danis has been saying yeah. that. He's, he's slept with or yeah i don't even re- i don't even remember what it was but you can spend all day looking into this stuff is like you're getting trolled by these people yeah. basically and it maybe it's gonna be like the prank thing as soon as people enough people like keep on going down this path of fake posts like dom lucre and they're just kind of become sillier and sillier people are like, oh, and that's why i feel like they are f- like almost puppets like fake actors yeah who are there to delegitimize everything because they will do a post of like legitimate conspiracy theories yes that should be spoken about and then they'll post about michelle obama being a man <laughs> and then just that it's like well now it's discredited that other one that's legitimate yeah, no, literally it's literally. like these people are false <laughs> actors they literally are there to tarnish the conspiracy theories to make them all just idiots yep. Like it's to so make it funny, just yeah. all dumb nonsense. And it's just it's just like looking at a, a thing like, okay, he posted this. Ooh, um, four hours later he posted that. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that mustn't be true either. Yeah. I'm going about my, I'm going about my day. That's obviously the yeah. dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. This I thought might be interesting, but it obviously yeah, must be the same now. Of course. If, if, if um, Jake Shields is going on about, I don't even know, black people all being like monkeys in a zoo. Yeah. I'm like, oh, is there a whole, is there a genocide going on? Yeah, like that's the scary thing. Yeah, if yeah. you're the figurehead for this, and then you start saying something that's just like offensive and just shocking, and I feel I'm sorry. Like, oh, is it really yeah. that bad? And you feel sorry for the people that are actually trying to help, of course, yeah. people, and then uh, putting these false prophets forward, like yes. they're gonna come and save everyone because they have the biggest platforms, yeah, and they're gonna help, yeah, and they're million just. Percent. The evilest of them all. Yeah. And maybe you just have to... They're purely there to just cram and cons- get their content consumed. And no other reason. I wonder if maybe you just have to pick and choose. You just have to be kind of more intelligent. But that could be the whole free speech thing. Like, it has to get worse before it's going to get better. True. You're not going to have free... Like, life isn't easy. It's not yeah. going to be just like the Joe Rogans and the... I don't know. The good minds are just going to yes. rise to the top. Yeah, yeah, literally. Because the actual dangerous. like sensical people are just going to get to the top instantly. It's going to yeah. be a slow cycle of the worst, most toxic stuff. Has to, dangerous stuff. As dangerous. Well, where it's just like, hey, this happened. And it's like, well, no, it didn't. Yeah. It's like this guy just died, or this guy was responsible. And by for the this. time it even gets reviewed yeah. and put as like fake, yeah, people have already watched it yeah and of course gone out and into the born, world yeah. I've just accepted and that's that real thing. do you know what happened as well when i went to the uh, right after i told you that rabbi shmuley was michael jackson's doctor yeah i went to the car and i was like was that right <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those, i just i took a second and i was like i just heard that on twitter <laughs> was, was, was he never <laughs> actually looked into <laughs> that once I just took that at face value as like, and I just I'm just spread it. I just spread it. 
And I was like, we'll probably bring that up on the podcast. And I was like, it just made me think how dangerous it is misinformation is. And I was like, I could just tell Raph that. And it gets back to the history thing. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It gets right. If we can't even know the (laughs) truth about something that's happening right now. (laughs) Yeah. What the 2,000 years ago we're believing it for facts. Yeah. We know Chinese whispers. Because eight yeah. to 20 historians all wrote about it Yeah, at points in history. It of is course. now a fact. Of course. Claim they supposedly wrote about yeah. it. Yeah. And these we dudes d- who like just ran with an idea. Before fact checking even existed. Yeah. We believe it. Yeah. It's like, so he, I don't believe any of history anymore. That's why I do like the Kanye thing. Yeah. It's like, it's probably all fake. 100% fake. Yeah. yeah. Probably wasn't even. It could have been the Chinese built the pyramids for all we know. Yeah, legitimately, and there was no like Chinese know, emperors on the mean. pyramids, and it's all fake, and it's all just completely constructed history. And the Romans were Asian for all we know, and they just changed it. Yeah, killed them all, and they're like, let's just say we did it. That's going to be better. Our kids will feel of better. Course, of course, say we did it. It's so easy. Let's say so we easy did it. To do who's going to that guy t- cut his head off? Yeah, no one could read or write. We yeah, like yeah, we compare sure. it to us. Like, oh, but bro, someone would have tweeted about it. They would find that tweet, take it back to like 2018, and be like, look, but he was talking about. It. People couldn't read or write. Of course, they had no access, they had no power. Like, there was really even... corporate people couldn't read. Yeah, words. Yeah, and they couldn't write down words. How are you going to be a revolutionary? Where's, there's not going to be a Jake Shields in anything that sort of situation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anything could have happened. Anything. It is yeah, literally. It was like up a, there was a tiny. It. There was a tiny few people. Yeah, there were literally like a few hundred people that could read the, and write and, and control yeah, it all. Of course, and they all come together. It's like, hey, we're just gonna do this. We're let's running just this. Say yeah. this. Let's, let's just not talk about how like Russia owned the whole world. Yeah, and had global domination or India or India, and we just killed yeah. them all. Let's just say that we kind of like it was all split up. It was something. us. Yeah, and it's just a coincidence. All the buildings all look the same everywhere. Architects, inspiration. Put it in I the don't book. know about the building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna tie it all in. <laughs> I loved, I loved your approach with that one. Let's like, burn let's down all. Let's just everywhere. burn down all the sus ones. Let's say we had a world fair and we built some like fake cities, and we just we tore it all down. I, I, I'm <laughs> not. A, I, <laughs> I hate it. You're doing. You're literally doing a Dom Luke Cray right now. <laughs> Rape it all in together. You're ruining all the points you just said by like, you have some great points and then you, then you bring in the stupid one. And then I'm like... Because it's the whole thing that I say that history <laughs> is all a lie, but yeah. then you still believe all of history. That's the whole point. That's what I'm trying to say. No one believes it. Everyone still believes history factually because we're, we're like humans, we're stuck that if we don't see it, yeah. we won't believe it. And if we've been told it's true, we will hold on to that for our dear lives. For some reason, it's some survival mechanism that we won't let go. We will refuse. Are you you going back to the building thing? But that's the whole thing. We refuse to believe that history is a lie. We no one believes it. We will say it over and over. No one believes it ever. Yeah, because we'll be like, I'll say something, but oh, but that probably actually did happen. Oh, but that actually probably was true. Oh no no no! But that actually probably the did happen. The building one though. Oh no! But that actually probably did happen. Is, no no no! But that oh, it but could that be like probably actually was. Proven just by talking to someone right now, who's like, oh yeah, we could create that. It's not that hard. Create what? Any <laughs> of those buildings, like the Art Gallery of New South Wales. Like yeah, no, just you just got to get it. We could. Dudes. Yeah, but I'm not talking about now. Could they in 1850 when they're riding on horses? Yeah, they were making better things. I think maybe how could they? How did they? That's part of society. Uh, that's part of like, the history as well. It? That's part of the history. People weren't living that. The primitive. horses carried the pillars that weigh the size of twenty truck. Who carried it? Who? The horses? What they got? Eight thousand horses. <laughs> No, it's good. I want to get it. How would they get it? It's like we just roll it over. Look at town hall. Look at the size of those cement pillars. What horse carried that? Or did big guys drag it? How did it get there? How were buildings made? What what year are we talking? (laughs) (laughs) We're talking 1870. Made in. um, (coughs) In the 19th century. Steam engines. So this is what we do as humans. <laughs> we w- the only thing we have is history. Yeah, and we won't let go of it because it's all we have. That's the sad truth of humanity. 
It's the one thing we can't let go of because it's all we have. It's all we have to go to. Because if it's a lie, we can't find the truth because all we have is the lies. That's why we hold on to our lies because it's all we have. The only thing is... There's nothing else we can go (laughs) check to find out besides using our eyes and looking at it and thinking. Yeah, because I can see what we're doing now and it's way better. I disagree. Like the spear in the spear in in um in uh Las Vegas. That's way better than any building that's ever been made. <sighs> the big dome. Yeah, the funny base dome thing with the screens yeah. all over it. Look at the Burj Khalifa. How on earth is that getting built? The funny, the big tower in North cranes. Korea. The big tower cranes. in North Korea. They don't even have any money, but they're cranes making amazing things cranes. like that. Still, I can't even wrap my head around it. Cranes. Cranes can't go that high. Yes, they can. How? What do you mean? You can walk and look at one right now and see how cranes work. I don't know. And we can look at how much they can lift up. So here we go. I'm going to look at... Have you seen like the photos of the... Um, I've seen the one photo of all these buildings being constructed. Where right. There's no workers in the photos. There's just some weird guys in top hats taking a photo that looks staged. Yeah. But what is it? The I'm Empire, not crazy. Is it the Empire State <laughs> Building and you literally see... Here People we go. In, oh, the set, the movie set. view of the. It looks like something that's going on there. I'm looking at the art gallery of New South Wales. Is it? Am I looking at the art? Ge- no. What is this? It looks like one of those buildings, but you can sort of see like a a, a trade site. People weren't that primitive. Look at it. Just really look at it, though. It looks Four, like there's five men. No, there's photo. like. It's a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, eight, sorry, nine, ten, eight, eight. eleven, sorry. twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. There's, it's a trade site. If you look at the building, the new station that's getting built there, I don't even know how that happens. Yeah. There seems to be no one ever there, but it's getting built. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, God, there's hundreds that, of people inside and they have cranes I and they have them, big I metal trucks stuff. and they have big metal trucks dropping off. All, where's the, what, how'd this all get here? I don't, I'm, I'm going to look at some more. I I don't know if I like this debate, because it, but I, I like it at the same time. Because it all ties back to the whole thing. That we say all this fun stuff, but no one actually believes it. No, anyone in no construction one be- is like, dude... They're, they're feeling sick. They're like, they almost are probably like having such a headache right now being like they don't understand how things are built. It's so simple. A bunch of tradies in the early 2000s. Yeah, oh, a bunch of tradies right now. People who have made buildings for like I know. 60 years. Yeah. Like, I know how to build things. I could build I most of this stuff. I bet they do. They went to university. Yeah. And they had like, their Toyota this, Utes, they had their trucks, they had the cranes. But it's like, I would know how to do this they without the any of that. Lifts. I would know how to do this without any of that stuff. And you probably they probably look into the theory, they look into the history and like how things were built 100 years ago or 200 years ago. And it's like, well, we didn't have this, but we had that. We didn't right. have this, but we That's had that. It's a pulley system yeah. of some and kind. It's, like, it's not that confusing. It's like, you don't need a Ute to make a, a building. Conspiracy about it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it's like, I like But I'm doing it. I like but it. But I'm I, doing I, I it. I like the attempt, <laughs> but it's... And I'm not tricky. stopping. And it's, you're not stopping. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I, and I, I respect your... <laughs> <laughs> Look up Russia 1800. Look it up. But you're Dom Lucraying right now. I'm not. I think it's... I'm not, though. But maybe you just... Yeah, I think you're just... I'm not talking about modern things. history. I'm talking about... 200 years ago. I call it ancient history. <laughs> 200 years ago is no one alive was yeah. there. Russia, what are we looking up? 1800s? 1800 Russia. Okay. Russia in the 19th century. Not 19th, 18th. I think that's the 19th century. Yeah. Yeah. I always get confused with that. Silly it's thing. annoying. Uh, it's and it's really like, how about annoying. we just call Let's it? Let's get yeah. with the how time How about we is. just call it what it is? Um, buildings or what? Yeah. The cities. Okay. Just do 1800s. I'm looking at some... We're looking at the historic photos. Looks beautiful. Oh. This is the thing. I think you have like a, a hang up on how things are built. Yeah. But things look way better now than they did. Way Things are way more impressive. And I don't know if there's conspiracy theories. Things are more impressive. Way more. In, nah, not... 
than what we have now. You look at like a cityscape. Yeah. I, I'm i blown away every single time I walk, drive into Sydney. I'm like, how are all these buildings here next to each other? How are these, how's everything working like this? <sighs> Looks, it looks nice. Yeah. It just looks like a nice city. Horses, horse and carriage. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, let's say you have two cars. It's like, dude, it, someone just points to like a Toyota. It's like, how on earth did they get like a Toyota Camry? In Truck. The, the Burj Khalifa. The trucks. Burj Khalifa. The trucks, though. They probably would have had their version of trucks. The big wagons. Yeah, big wagons. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> With the big horses. <laughs> and I... I the big mountain horses. I like it. I like it, but I find it difficult because I don't know anything about this. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of this stuff is... Okay, I'm going to look up how... What, are there any periods of history that you think are fake? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, just when it comes to um, Africa. Yeah. I find the history of Africa is very... Skeptical, yeah. Um, a lot of things don't add up. Um, what else was I looking into that I was a bit confused about? Oh, yeah. Um, was there such thing as a Wild West? What do you mean? In I think America? Yeah. What does that mean? Like, just the, the whole idea that these cowboys is this way of life where... The cowboys with the Native Americans? Yeah. And like, was that fight. even a thing? I think I heard somewhere that it was all fake. That that, that never existed. There was, was never such thing as a cowboy. But there's cowboys now. There aren't, though. Not in the way they're um, perceiving, like, movies. That kind of never was a thing. The people would ride around on horses. And <laughs> commit crimes and stuff like that. It's not that far-fetched, though. <laughs> Maybe that's why I conspiracy theory. <laughs> There were no cowboys. <laughs> there were no cowboys. The cowboy myth. There were yeah, the cowboy myth. There were no cowboys in the way they're represented on TV. Yeah. Maybe I'm also critical of uh, organized crime. It's all. F- yeah. There's no crime. <laughs> Everyone's actually a legitimate. The Sopranos. Tony Soprano was a, a mythical character. <laughs> there was. There's no one like him that's existed. I like that. Um, I maybe that is like it's all. It was all government. And yeah, they're, these are all scapegoats. Yes. There was actually some Italian yeah. group and this guy, and it yeah. wasn't us. It's corruption. It's not people being good yeah. at what they do. It's it corruption, corruption in government. Corruption in government. Yeah, it just comes down to... There's no such thing as a Dom Corleone. Yeah, there yeah. are no mob bosses. There the government no ran bosses. everything yeah. all the time. It's all... And these were the scapegoats. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I think you could probably look in... I like that one. Yeah, there's a good conspiracy theory there. I think they talk about... um. Yeah, it all comes down to government corruption. Um, you see it in, oh yeah, in uh, South America when it comes to the cartel. That's just corrupt governments. Yeah. Um, Africa just seems to be one big corrupt. <laughs> yeah. Corrupt land. The only thing for, and why I like my one a lot. Yes. Is the evidence is everywhere. Because you, you can't get rid of all these buildings. And okay, I kind of like and that. And that's the bit where it's like, this isn't some, oh, I bet it was some crazy. It's like, it's everywhere. It's hidden in such plain sight. That's the yeah. scariest part. You're living in it everywhere you go. Why is there a giant Egyptian uh, pillar right here? Why? Has anyone actually asked why though? And why is there one in Washington? And why is there one in London? And why is there one in Spain? And why is there one in Portugal? Why? I think what we need to do is literally go into basic understandings of construction. But this isn't it's almost cons- like. But this isn't construction. It is though. It's from Egypt, in all these cities. So we know where it comes. Do you know from it's and from everything. Egypt? They didn't just kind of have the same. They just didn't make it here. Just look it up. You can look up. They would have brought it here. It's not much of a conspiracy. I don't Egypt. I think they just would have created it with sandstone or whatever. They would have just brought it because it's a beautiful thing of architecture. Blah blah blah. You sure about that? Just look it up. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to figure out what to look up. <laughs> <laughs> I've just forgotten the word, what they're called. Uh, an Egyptian... Because what I'm going to have to do is look into real basics of engineering, like construction. But this isn't a thing. I'll be... Cons- 
I'd be surprised if they made it. Maybe they did, but this I don't like, get why they wouldn't just bring it from Egypt. It's not that big, but it's not that hard to make. I know, it's, but it's it, the thing. It's like doing a basic construction project. Is like okay, but well, we this is get... a bit different. I'm not arguing that kind of point. Yeah. This is more why are they also similar? So we could just look it up. Just the um, just type in Egyptian pillar Hyde Park. I forget what they're called. Okay. Obelisk. Sorry, obelisk. Ob. How do you spell that? O B E L I S K, I believe. Obelisk. obelisk. Just where is the Egyptian obelisk in Sydney Hyde Park from? Question mark. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, obelisk. Um, obelisk, Sydney Hyde Park. Oh, where is it from? Yeah. Let's have a look. Obelisk. Hyde. Park. I remember you pointed this one out. Yeah. Um, I know, like, it's the center okay, point. So I'm looking at, uh, I don't know, we're not allowed to use uh, Wikipedia according to Norman Finkelstein. Really? To read <laughs> tens of thousands of books. <laughs> to uh, get a grasp to on any get topic. To understand anything. I really go. think that's our chicken soup's it made. It was modeled on Cleopatra's needle. So we did make it? Yeah. True. It's sandstone base. I just don't think these things are that impressive. I'm not even saying that this is impressive. This is very right. simple. But why are they in every single city in the center? I think it's coming down to modeling on different cities, different, like, history. It just comes down to, like, why are they making um, a song that's just like one from the uh, late 80s? Why do they have, like, a house song? But doesn't that... Because when it comes down to construction, there's only so much you can do put Egyptian obelisks in every city. What do you mean there's only so much you can do? Same thing when it comes to, like, different art styles. Like, why is this person painting, like, Vasky art? Why is this, like, um, I don't even know, neo-expressionist? Yeah, I don't know yeah. Any of the, why is this art just taking this style? Why is why do I keep on seeing this same style of art everywhere? And it's like, I go to, there's this artist in Africa, and he's doing it. There's this artist in, in Asia, and they're doing it. And it's like, why is everyone in Europe doing painting like this? Yeah. I think it just comes down to inspiration. People who were in construction, like architects. So the early developers, architects of Australia, are like, let's mimic Washington, D.C. Yes. Because what else own. are we going to do? Figure out our own thing? We're going to do something completely different. We're yeah. going to have, like, waves. We're going to be, like... Like uh, the Opera House. Like a Gaudi or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah we're going to do something different. That's a hard thing to do. Mm. People can't be creative all the time. Yeah. You look at a place like Dubai, and it's like, oh, we're just going to do kind of cool city, similar to... You're probably going to look at New York. You're probably going to look at, like, um, what is it? Shanghai or something like that. Yeah. Beijing. And be like, oh, it's kind of... They're doing some cool futuristic sort of stuff. Let's just try to do that. That weird place in the Middle East. What's that... Uh, the long strip where they're the wall, on. yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. that's actually started. Yeah, it is, which is hilarious. I'm keen. To that's go. something we different. Should go. We should, yeah, literally. That is something different. I want to go to Dubai this year. Really? That's my big thing. To do what? Um, get the vibe. We're coming. Dubai. Yeah, we're coming to Dubai. I was there last year. Yeah, you. Uh, that I was watching a vlog about how soulless it was. Yeah. Like, spectacularly, like, It's got soulless. its perks and it's got its cons. Yeah, and I almost want to see what A the... few more cons and perks, though. They're saying it's at the worst place on Earth. I'm sure there's worse. It's pretty nice, like... Really? It's hot. Yeah. But it's pretty safe. What's the thing that's so terrifying about it? People say it's, it's like... It's not terrifying, but it just feels like no one wants to be there and everyone's gotten conned into the scam city. Oh, okay. All the restaurant owners are looking <sighs> around like, I was promised... Lines out the door every night. Right. They said this was going to be the New York of the Middle East. Okay. Yep. Yep. So the conned. Yeah. Everyone feels like they're being conned. And you know what's even happening. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. And it's how they even got there. They they let go a bit of their religion. Yeah. They let go a bit. It's like well, we have to let go a bit. They think they're better better than Allah. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. You have to. Yeah. They're not listening to what Allah says. Build a mega city. (laughs) Yeah. But they're still holding on. And it's keeping people away. People don't want to wear long pants everywhere. Yeah. Long sleeves everywhere. So they want to, They need to go all in people for People want to drink alcohol everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. They want to drink yeah, on literally. the beach. Yeah. They want freedom. Yeah. You know? Go to a freedom. Go to Amsterdam. Busiest city in the world. <laughs> people keep saying it's getting busier. You Busy. were there. You said it was... It's the, ridiculous. Yeah. 
they've stopped tourists. There's too many people going. Really, there. people love freedom. People want to go somewhere they can do whatever they want. You can look at Amsterdam tourism. They've stopped l- people from London coming there because they just come to party and it's just oh, chaos. Right, that's and right. They're like, you've <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see what do they got tourism numbers because people are saying it's the worst city in the world now when it comes to. Uh, it's, it's a bit ridiculous with the tourism. bikes. And you're like, you can't ride through here. <laughs> right. Why are you even trying still? I'm going to see. Do they have... Uh, are they talking about their tourism? Number of visitors in um, Amsterdam. Oh, here we go. Fastest growth. 2014. It's I want to nice look into it. It's just crazy in the city. Because you went to the Hague. Oh, even just like you go over, there's like a Darling Harbour kind of area that's kind of deserted. That's chill. Uh, oh, right. Around. Yeah, like, there are yeah. quiet areas. Oh, they're saying, what is that, 2019? Uh, I think it's on 20. Oh, um, North Korea's just opened back up. Yeah, I saw that. Would you go? I don't know. Probably not. No. Really? I'm sure I've said something online <laughs> somewhere really bad about it. <laughs> if I ever see Kim Jong, I'm going to kick his hand. I'm going <laughs> to kick that little man. I'm going to kick him. I'm going <laughs> to kick him. I want to see how far he can roll, fatty. <laughs> and and now just, I've just he said just it. He's just in a room with like some agent. <laughs> They're watching the they Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> What, me? <laughs> what has to happen right? <laughs> the whole idea, you got to take a stand at some point. On what? On everything. On everything. You, on everything. At what some, do you mean by that? At some point in life, you've got to take a stand. Um, when it comes to North Korea... Say, no, nah, I'm not having it. Yeah. you got to I'm just, an Aussie and I want to go on holidays. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm What's saying, the stand? Yeah, if you take a stand and start talking about it in a negative light, you can never go there, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like That's, Israel. Yeah. If you start talking about places, you become Nick Fuentes. Yes. Sadly, you can't go anywhere. You can only go to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> he never says anything bad about Russia because that's his escape plan. Or maybe he's just a Russian agent. Yeah, because it's been planted it's to dissolve the American society. <laughs> it's kind of good that the world does that in a way because they're protecting themselves. Yeah. If there are people that talk bad about a place, it's like, I don't want to leave you in now. Or if you go, have fun. Yeah, literally. We're going to kill you. You might go don't. drown. You might yeah. drown at the pool accidentally. Yeah, literally. You might fall off the top of the building accidentally <laughs> when you went to go look at it. I don't want to look into it. And you were gone forever. You were dead. That Otto Wurmba thing is terrifying. That guy. The uh, Boeing? Uh, no, that guy that died in North Korea. Oh, right. That's just such a scary story. Yeah. It almost seems like fake. What happened? I just uh, he, he goes to North Korea as part of like a... Um, Edge Lord sort of tour group. Is he American? Yeah, American dude. Yeah, he um goes to a. There's a forbidden area because I think they all go to the same hotel when you visit yeah. North Korea. There's like talk online about the fifth, the thirty fifth floor or something like that. Um, it, they call it the thirty fifth floor challenge. Um, because it's human nature. You go to this hotel and it's like you can go anywhere, just don't go to that level. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a Simpsons yeah, episode. <laughs> They're kind of funny. I kind of love it. Yeah. It's I love their <laughs> sense of humor because they don't have one, I guess. It's, yeah, it's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> so they, I don't know what Welcome they're Welcome to expecting. the hotel. You could go any, any level except, except this, this level. level. <laughs> do not go there. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not go there. So for years, because people have go, been going to North Korea as part of these tours forever, people just like go into that level. <laughs> They're taking videos. It's like a challenge online for like uh, big, extreme travelers. So everyone's going to this area. Otto's like, I'm going to the area. And he's... It's just a level of the hotel. Just a level of the hotel that has... It's for the staff. And it'll just be the security it's re- monitoring yeah, it's literally, room, it's probably. Security, that's probably that's all, all it is. Yeah. And everyone goes there and takes a video. And it's like, I went to the place you weren't meant to go to. And it's just full of propaganda posters. And it says, you see all the security yeah. cameras. Yeah. There's so much footage of that area online. <laughs> so what he did, he goes to that area and he steals a, he steals a poster. Uh, he's like, I okay, have... Um, I'm going to take it a step up. I'm not only going to go to that level 35 area. I'm (laughs) I'm leaving here with some. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm leaving here with some. (laughs) And then he takes it, hides it in his bag. They go to leave North Korea to go to China or whatever to leave. And then he just gets a tap on the back. He's like, come with us. And he just follows them. And 
he has never been seen since. <laughs> that, <laughs> that whole idea. They all leave and um, some officers are like, oh, he's not feeling well. So yeah, I love it. I love, I love the way it, it goes down. He's like, very sick. Very sick. You, not can't, feeling you well. can't come on your flight. Sorry. He wants to be making You guys, it. have a safe one, though. <laughs> Enjoy China. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Tommy not see. You get next flight. You get next fl- I you promise. See. <laughs> but they said there's no flights for it. <laughs> Days. No, 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 no. no. He gets He's flight. <laughs> and then um, he was arrested. And then he was like facing trial for, what was it? Theft or something. Yeah, theft. I mean, he did and break the law. He did break the law. What do you think is going to happen? Know. What did you, and I think that was a, he knew it was going to happen. You could go to like the Meriton here. Yeah. Go to the staff room. Oh, take something. You'd get course. probably, you'd get arrested. Yeah. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the country. Mate, what do you think was going to happen? Yeah, what do you think? You're just going to leave our hotel. It's like the people that try to steal from the minibar. Yeah. And they get a bill and it's like, what? $300? What do you think was going to happen? Yeah, it's a minibar. Laws. Yeah. We told you the law. <laughs> and it's just like, it's a funny idea. It's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to put the bathrobe in my bag. Thank God, no. I'm mean, just wearing it at home one day. <laughs> Checking your email. It's like, what an invoice. $500. For $500. Bathrobe. <laughs> you're, in your, you're in your like Sheraton bathrobe or you're in your like Trump bathrobe. Like, what do you mean? You knew, you knew it was coming. You paid for it. <laughs> Literally. <clears throat> and then so he... The family here, he's he's under arrest. Also, a, a crime against the government. And he's, um, so he's just been arrested. He's been arrested and he's facing trial. He gets convicted to 30 years hard labour. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny sentence. 30 years hard labour. <laughs> like, man, I thought my nine to five was bad. I know. Life really has stages to it, doesn't it? And you're it? just like on this scene with these like <laughs> other North Korean, <laughs> North Korean people who've tried to escape. <laughs> and you're just some white guy. You're like double the size of everyone. Just extremely gorgeous. So he's got 30 skin. years hard labor. He's got 30 years hard labor. Um, who was in at the time? I think it was Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah, tried to get him out. Um, I think they managed to... Get pretty close to try to. It's like the Britney Griner thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they got pretty close. It's more of a political prisoner. Yeah, yeah. And then I think what happened, they weren't negotiating. It's like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. And then they're like, actually, you know what? You guys have him. God. Um, and then he, he's become he he gets into he falls into a coma. Um, or something. I think he got like very from sick from the hard labor. Yeah, from the hard labor <laughs> or something like that. And then he comes back because he's very sick. And then I think as soon as he arrives, he falls into a coma. He got back to America. He got back to America and then fell into a coma. Wow, that's scary. And then the doctors are like, there was severe um, head trauma. Blunt trauma. Yeah. Gosh. So it's... Well, I'm sure the fellas out on the fields in the... I know. Might not have even been the guards. Yeah. It's such sure a there's some crazy conditions. Imagine that. Uh, that's a cool story, right? You're in North Korea. Imagine just being like an old man. Thirty years old. You're at like a pub. You're just at like the hotel coronation down the road. Hey, and I've got some stories. Dude, I got a story for you. I was in a I was in a North Korean <laughs> prison. <laughs> hard <laughs> prison for <laughs> thirty years, <laughs> 30 mate. Years, bro. Mate. You're complaining about your bloody work site, mate. <laughs> about how you got to wear a vizzy everywhere, mate. <laughs> guess how I lost his finger. I ate it. <laughs> I didn't starve to death. Andrew Bloody tastes like, I was in a Romanian dungeon. dungeon. <laughs> for six, for three months. TikTok video. <laughs> <laughs> for three months with my three brother. With <laughs> having tea and a cold and meal. cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes and cold meals. As many and cigarettes coffee. as I could possibly have. <laughs> Getting love letters <laughs> love every single <laughs> day. <laughs> so don't come to me about <laughs> hard. <laughs> That's a funny thing. Is if you just if you stick to a story, <laughs> and you, Andrew Tate would just say, "I was in a Romanian dungeon." dungeon. <laughs> you don't know what it's like. I would rather be on a North Korean. Eat, I love Korean food. Kimchi. <laughs> I'd be eating kimchi. He's probably like watching uh, Korean cape dramas, Squid Games. <laughs> I was in a dungeon, <laughs> and that's the scary thing. People are like gonna just complain about their own problems. Yeah. People have got their own things. Like, yeah, buddy, you're in that. I got problems as well. Yeah. I'm in a dungeon every night when I gotta go home to the missus. <laughs> I feel your pain, mate. I feel your I pain, feel mate. Your pain, brother. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, what else has gone on to the world before we finish? 
been a long one. It has. Um, what has been happening? I wanted to touch on. Yeah, do you have some NPC topics? Yeah, NPC topics. Oh, here's, I've got two good ones. Um, Kanye said he created every genre after the year 2000. Bit boring. Bit boring. Bit boring. Floyd Mayweather going to... Israel. Israel. What's that about? <sighs> People he had a huge... Um, Star David. Star David yeah. gold chain. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> 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 Because he can't read, right? <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> he can't read. He's in Israel. He's got a huge, like, $150,000 Star of David chain. They're all, like, loving He's it. He's with the uh, IDF soldiers. He's with the rabbis. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> what's it about? Brother, what's going on? <laughs> and it's just, what is that? Yeah. What is it? Is he Jewish? He's African-American. Yeah. Maybe he's converted. He does look a bit Jewish. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you just try to find, like, maybe he looks is a bit it Ethiopian, no, he he looks Ethiopian Jew? I need to know. I'm going to type in, yeah, why did Floyd Mayweather? But you get free trips. You get offered the free trips. Why and you get take the f- it? You're the you richest man on earth. Because he's not the smartest man on the earth. He's one of the richest people um, on earth. Yo, he's got Why? money in his name, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> where, did, yeah, where did Floyd Money, Way, Ma- Money Mayweather go to Israel? Remember uh, who went? Um, Scooter Braun went. Yeah, he's, Jewish. he's Jewish, yeah. Who's, no, um, <laughs> who's the podcaster? Tiger Belly. Oh, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee went. He went because... He got offered free He tickets. was like a young, weird comic and was probably just going to do it for the story. No, and he didn't, didn't know you what it was. hear? What yeah, happened? he got the free thing. He's like... Not even that. You had to tweet every yeah. single day why you like Israel. He didn't know until he got so there. It was just like uh, a but campaign a free... to support Israel is the whole thing. And Floyd would have gotten the same thing. I Fair enough to take it back then. Israel, and we might go. We might go. We might go. Get free tickets. You give us free tickets. I'll do a tweet. We're just trying to figure it out. That's all. We'll suss if there's a geno. geno. Here we go. So he, he visited the military base to uplift the spirits of civilians, workers, and soldiers amid the ongoing war in and around the Gaza Strip. He also prayed for peace at the Western Wall during his visit. It would be the funniest thing on earth if he was like fighting Jake Paul at this time and Jake Paul went to Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> the and they just <laughs> for the content. They just do it for the content. Is well, to sell the fight. That just would to be one sell of the a fight would be so good. That would be. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm looking at the comments. Here we go. Jake Paul has the kafia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Floyd just comes out wearing a yarmulke. <laughs> here we go. Uh oh, they might have some compromising. They might have a compromising video of Mayweather. Oh, yeah. is that Dom? <laughs> yeah. um, if anyone was going to get Black Bay on, I'm sure he would be one of the first to get got. Yeah, literally. It'd literally. be an easy one. Very easy one. And I was just like, I don't know about this Epstein guy. He's a bit... He's like, I like him. I like him. He seems fun. I like fun. him. I like he seems guy. fun. He, se- he likes money. <laughs> he likes me. I like money. <laughs> <laughs> He made I heard you and I had a lot of comment. <laughs> Do we now? <laughs> he ends up in a room with a 12 year old. He's like, what? <laughs> this is a camera crew. What's all that flash? <laughs> that posing. It'd be yeah. one Epstein black, black male photo where he's posing for the photos. <laughs> what happens at Epstein Island? You probably go to a urinal, right? And he's like, this is cool. This guy's rich. Yeah. You're at the urinal. Bam, a wall goes down. Bam, a whole bunch of photos and there's a child behind you. Suddenly you got your pants down and there's a child. No yeah. one's ever going to believe you. Stuff like that, I assume, goes on. I think it's uh, apparently they have a lot of like, they would just have cameras in the toilets of people on their phone. Yeah. Say like texting a mistress or texting some business thing that they weren't, no one's meant to see. Because uh, they think okay. they're in a toilet, they're yeah. on their phone. <laughs> Yeah. Little, and at his mansion as well. Just little things like that. Right. I just catch them slipping. Then that video stuff. comes up a bit later. Yeah. And it's like, hey, you meant to... Or say they have like a micro penis. <laughs> yeah, oh, true. They get a photo of it in the toilet. Dang. Say they have just yeah. something embarrassing. Of course, of course. Any, yeah, just stuff like that. And suddenly you're on a trip to... <laughs> <laughs> first class flight. <laughs> 
Next stop, Tel Aviv. <laughs> You just eating falafel and hummus. Being like, dang, they got me. They got me. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> I want peace for all. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. They love him. I um, mean, all the comments. <laughs> so I salute you, sir. You have my respect. Those who can't see that Israel is only defending themselves against <laughs> evil are blind. Bless Israel and IDF. He's a real deal and a true champ. Maybe he's just doing the right thing. Maybe he's just a champ. Maybe he's just the champ. Maybe he's just the champ. <laughs> That's what the champ does. He just knows the right move to make. He's just on the right he's side. He's read the Bible. Yeah. He's read the Old Testament. Has he? <laughs> he can't no, he read. Can't read. <laughs> <laughs> he can't read. That's a sad one. I wasn't even trying to make that joke. Um, <laughs> yeah, people seem to love him. I thought that the war was supposed to end. <laughs> I, I thought it was that. meant to, yeah. I it was like the weekend. Biden had the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it was ending on ju- yeah, Tuesday. I mean, the season on the weekend. It's ending on Tuesday. <laughs> it's on Tuesday. It's so funny now, like, people are trying to have that same energy for if Trump gets in, it's going to be the end of the world. Yeah. Even though there were four years where it was kind of fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. They're just got reverting, they're reverting, reverting back to that same strategy. Yeah. It's like, you guys don't know what you... Do you see Robert De Niro? It's like, you guys don't know what you're in for if this guy becomes president. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was. <laughs> Brother, he was. <laughs> Brother, what are you talking Brother, about? Four years, best four years. Money, bro, we all made money. What it's went so wrong funny. when Trump was president? What, he got in in 2016? He got in in 2016. Nothing bad happened till COVID. He... I think. Oh, he did some bad stuff. He did the abortion stuff. Yep. He did... <laughs> he did the... He did a lot of bad stuff. It was the abortion stuff. I'm anti Donald Trump, by the way. I'm. What else? I'm really anti Donald Trump. There's a few Trump. bad stuff. <laughs> Quite a bit. Destiny has a list. Yeah, there was a list of bad things. Yeah, there's a list of bad things. He set up basically the situation in that resulted in this in Gaza. All, yeah, yeah, all the things that he set up. All yeah, the he problems. moved the the embassy embassy to Jerusalem, yeah. which is the neutral zone. Yeah, there were a bunch of. I think what he did, he yeah, he he set up a lot of bad things. He was just kind of corrupt. Yeah. He appointed like Jared Kushner and um, his wife, his, his children to like positions of power. Yeah. He was doing a lot of crazy things. There's a video of Trump. There's, oh yeah, there's there's the videos. He's um, no, no. I'm just saying he obviously got got. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, he's he's Biden may be the best president. <sighs> I saw a video. It was like really? while all these people party and blah blah blah, doing all this crazy this stuff. Hard work. Biden got the train home every single afternoon to his wife. I like Joe Biden. Maybe he was actually the one good kind of president. Maybe. Maybe. They don't like Barack Hussein. People do not like Barack <laughs> Hussein. <laughs> I don't know why. I and love then Michelle Obama becomes the next president. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. But it's not gonna happen already. Really? Biden's going. He got sworn in. It's scary. Besides that whole thing, just the age is like it is the funny Simpsons episode. Yeah. The 84 versus 80 year old. <laughs> 80. Like, what do we watch? Yeah, it's really. What's going on? It's I just see news articles like scientists say that AI will destroy humanity. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> end times? Is this the end times? You know, when everyone says, oh, everyone thinks it's the end times. Yeah. I used to think that until this happens. Until where it's the end. Like, you can actually see what will happen. Not like, yeah, oh, maybe a nuke will go off and there'll be a world war. And I was like, well, probably not. Do you, see, do you see the footage um, of what um, Russia can do to America? Yeah, but it's not even like, it's like, I kind of trust the human spirit. It's the AI. Okay, it's yeah. It's scary. Everyone's warned about that. It's like AI is going to be the end of the world because as soon as they... If you let go of your ego, and yeah. it's like Joe Rogan has the bit when you like fly over the world. Yeah. Humans are obviously this virus disease on the planet. Yes. Like, obviously. If you just let go of your human ego and that we're great and good and the good ones, we're yeah. obviously this sick virus on the planet. You can see it. Everything's beautiful green nature and hills and mountains and birds and animals. Compared to any other, every other species. And then you hit yeah. the cities and there's these growths. 
these yeah. unnatural pumping out like just gas and just polluting. Like black, I guess, yeah. The seas are all polluted around at the sky. You can't even see the stars anymore. It's like this sick virus on it. Waterfalls, not waterfalls, tsunamis and fires come and destroy it all and it grows back. Yeah. Bigger and stronger than before. And it's like, hey, I will see that. They're not going to see our thing. As if we actually one. create yeah, this yeah. self-sufficient thinking machine that's rational, because we're not rational, we're rational to our survival. That's our. That's where our rationality stops. That's why we just kill and farm all the animals, and we don't really have much conscious because it's survival. Yep. That's our rationality. It stops at us surviving. But the AI won't stop there. The AI will be like, hey, but you guys are going to kill everything. So you're the we've got to kill you. Yeah, we got That's a, yeah. They always say that. Yeah, they're we'll gonna keep a few tribes in Africa, a few tribes in China. I was gonna be like, what happens is when there is this destruction from AI, at the end you just hear like a didgeridoo. Yeah, you and there's just an indigenous man yeah. who presses <laughs> the destroy button, and he created AI, and then you realize they like know everything. <laughs> <laughs> or it's not even that. It's like we've seen this. Yeah, we've seen plenty it. of we've times. Seen it plenty of times. Like even you look at Queensland. Yeah. I was just looking at a video and how flat it is, and it's just this like trillion dollar city, yeah, built in this flood zone on this flat land, right next to this huge ocean that's just coming in. And you can just imagine Aboriginal people like every thousand years that floods up to the mountains, right? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> surely know that, right? Does your science explain that? Nah, we're gonna get our we're gonna get a new building there. I reckon we put the Q one building here. Two billion dollars. I'm investing that. We got a we got a we got a time zone. Get a bloody time zone yeah. there. It's like it couldn't be more obvious. Like there's little obvious things. It's like I feel like that's gonna flood in the next five hundred years because that looks sus. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. way too flat. There's so much water and it leads right up to the mountain top. It's like it's meant to happen. It looks like it will happen. Why wouldn't it happen? Uh, yeah, I guess you probably get in this world or of like I'm living for the next hundred years. Hundred years. And it's not gonna happen in the next yeah, hundred years. It's no not way. going to. That's it how won't. I kind of see things. Yeah. And if, if, maybe it's like a well, it's not, not gonna be and my that's problem. What's wrong with our civilization? <laughs> or is it? Or is it the whole idea that we're God, I'm everything. But that's why we keep destroying ourselves. Because <clears throat> they have that mindset as like things. There isn't going to be a. Next. We live for our lifetime yeah. and a bit of our kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah really literally, and that's kind that. of it. Nothing that's kind of it. it. Whereas you have these. If you just look at the timeline, that's why the Western civilization is going to crumble. Destroy. And you just look yeah. at how yeah. Indigenous people would have thought, where they're like, we're thinking forever. Yeah, yeah, because literally. They literally. Don't, they didn't even have the concept of the individuality. Yeah, it's like we're one life form forever. Yeah, I don't die because I'm everything. So yeah. I will be here forever. So I could better take care forever. Mm. And I'll never stop taking oh, care. Because yeah, I'm going to be yeah. here in a thousand years. If you had that mental like existence, it would change everything. That's true. Because you're going to be like, well, I'll be here literally forever. And but you're taking that selfish kind of nature that everyone has and using it effectively. Yeah. It's like, I know you, but dude, you're going to be there though. <laughs> yeah. So when you die and you do something bad, you're going to be around forever. You're going to be there in yeah. 500 years when it floods. Of course. You might not remember yeah. that you were there 500 years ago and ticked off the, and approved yeah. it all, but that guy will experience it still. Yeah. And that's you. Yeah. That's very interesting. Just like we're so self-destructive. I love it. Yeah, because I know, like, I've, I've been looking into, um, the, what is it, the Communist Manifesto. Yeah. Um, and just the end, the main points are kind of like, it just seems very flawed. Communism. Yeah, because yeah. it goes against human nature. Yeah. Where it's like, um, you won't have any will, nothing gets passed down to your kids. It just all goes, there's no s sense of, like, you or anything that belongs to you. Or anything involving you. And I think that's just impossible. Yeah, It's like you're only going to think of the community. But I think that's the wrong approach. You need to be thinking, I'm thinking of myself and I'm going to be around here. I want to live a good life forever. Yeah. Because I think maybe that that um, appeals to the selfishness. That indigenous sort of mentality where it's like, you're doing this for you at the end of the day. Yeah. This isn't for us. This is kind of for you. It's kind of well. for you because you're yeah. everyone. It's like treat thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah. 
and because that you're not neighbor is thyself. Yeah, and if you cheat on that guy, if you cheat with that guy's wife, you're gonna have to deal with that for the rest of your life. Yeah. So you're just not gonna make. And you're that cheating sort of, on yourself. Yeah, you're literally cheating on you're yourself. Just screwing yourself over. Yeah, forever. It's not like you're gonna be dead in a hundred years. Yeah. and You just lived every single second and um, burned every single bridge. So are you a Christian now? Uh I'm agnostic. Chip, pick a side, man. I, I Get off become, the fence. I have to. I have to remain agnostic because I hear the dream time. That might be my thing. That is still. It is the it's same. Not Christianity. Thing. It is. It's not. Jesus wasn't. Oh, he kind of was talking about that, but he was. He had his own ideas. No, he did. <laughs> he wasn't talking about forever. Yes, he was. Really? You read the Bible, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Drink water podcast. We'll yeah, drink that. water podcast. We can have that one there. Peace out. Drink um, your water. Good night, everyone. Hey.